I'm getting back into thrifting more often. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to share any tips? What do we got up here, folks? Look at this. Look at this right up here. We're at Savers on a Monday. It is half off and there is a line through here. So I am gonna do my best to find some nice, beautiful glass pieces and items that I could resell online. I told her I was out of the office. Stop giving me your information. But she had tons of it, dude. I'm not, I'm not joking. You either? Yeah. Oops. Oh. Okay. Two, baby. Caesar's over there. There's already people cutting in line for stuff. Looks like everybody's going to the shoes. I'm looking at this stuff. Now that we're inside here, let's try to find some of that glass. See that lady? We're just cutting in, folks. All right, what do we got here? Doesn't look like anybody's looking in this section for now. So that's a good thing. And I was supposed to meet with some friends, but I think I went to the wrong to the wrong savers. Is this Delp? No, it is not Delp. It looks nice and pretty though. Some of these little vases could be valuable, so you want to look them up. There's a vase uh, artist called Roger and it has like a RJ sign on the side. Thank you. When everybody rushes in, it feels like everybody's on like on the edge. And I didn't bring my black light. Ooh, look at this right here. Oh, it's chipped on the edges. That is good. It's like a wine bottle holder. Is there a vault? Is there money in here? Go off the bank. $3.99. Oh, what do we got up here, folks? Look at this. Look at this right up here. Somebody hiding it on the top. Look at that beautiful little glass right here. $4.99. That was pretty. That's like plus some residue. I was, I was thinking it was. I was thinking it was chip, but it's not. We got a paperweight. That's why I always say you get a to look as high as possible folks all right man, excuse me all right crouch down you gotta get so low make the knees crack some people hide stuff all right we got one paperweight what do we got here neiman marcus snow globe got a little butterfly in there broken musical piece gone Park, Dr. Strange, 1049. It is half off, but oh, excuse me. I just got bumped into with the gore. Little marble piece shipping. This is pretty. Look at this. This is pretty. I think I'm gonna pick this one up. It looks to be mid-century. There's a few of them out there that goes for a pretty good penny. And this is in really good condition. Half the price, that is the deal. Let's put that one in the car. I'm not really trying to find some big things here. I want small things, but Money talks, right? Money talks. All right, look at this up here, folks. 
It's a nice tortoise glass right here. That is very pretty. I'm gonna look this up. Half the price. Nice glass on here. Look at that. I think this is a reversible. Yeah, I think it could be double sided. It's more like a vase inside here. Let's hold on to the car to walk around and see what we could come across. This is a pretty little glass right here. Ah, made in China. Some stuff is really nice quality. Nice edge work. It's like pinstripe base. That is cute as hell. This is the one that really got my attention right here. Nice little glass, modern. Some pretty glass up here. How much do they want for this? Does that say 13? I actually don't care for cups, but this is matching the canter here. I prefer when the glass, the canters are glass on glass and not the little plastic rubbery ones, but there has been some that I've come across worth getting. $6.99. Grapes usually do good. There's like a two-tone color on the inside. You see that? I like the stopper on here. Little bulb. Let's Google lens this. All right, this seems to actually be a pretty good one. It goes for around $40 to $50. Just for the decanter alone and without the stopper. And this one has a stopper. And here's this one. Pay attention to what I'm about to say. The last three years, I've been focusing on glass, vintage jewelry, pottery, a lot of home decor, and I'm learning a lot about it. But the four years before that, when I was part-time reselling, I was heavily into apparel. I would always try to find things like this, which is probably the first time I've come across Giant. I've come across Pearl Izumi a lot, and these two jerseys used to go for around $30, $35, used in the excellent condition that I found them in. And looking into that, just bundled them all together, keeping my, my body kind of blocking it off and everybody comes looking for more items than I do. This is an amazing find, which originally I thought it was a hockey jersey, but if you look at the logo on the front, you could see those look cross type of battle sticks that you fight uh enemies off who are trying to like send you low ball offers on ebay but anyways i saw the back end of it and saw wayne gretzky last name and i thought okay is there another gretzky out there well that is from wayne gretzky it's a giveaway jersey uh 99 in brand new condition and they are selling very well one of somebody just sold one for 124 dollars just a few weeks ago but they sell more for around 50 to 70 dollars and i strongly believe if you find something to keep looking because you might find more of it and boom cha-ching i find a second one just for a little less and all of these items are going to be half price <laughs> have Caesar here with me. We're all thrifting. He got a little bit of stuff. Oh, I like those coasters. Oh, some chips, some tokens. So I got two of them. That's a uh, same thing, but different size. Yeah, some of the glass I'm gonna see about, I don't know, I'm second, not really second guessing myself. I just don't want bigger items. Even though they do match what I'm going for. And grapes are good, but I guess I should go for the price. And this one's kind of big. The tortoise. All right, now that I got things in the card and looking them over online, seeing if it's worth it, I want to put back the, the, tur the tortoise little vase there. Put it back where I found it. This is, this is a really good price, but I am becoming more of like an auction seller. And I, I, I like this, but I feel like this is more of a modern one. It does feel kind of light. The smaller ones I have weigh just as much as this one. So I don't think it's vintage and I don't want to chance it. 
I'm basing it off of my gut feeling. And when I'm not spending on something, that means I'm saving on something for something better, something that I could actually see something better in. This is cool, nice little glass piece. I am definitely getting the Gretzky jerseys in the Giants. They fit, they fit my money mark. And for these prices, these should be pretty fast sellers. No cleaning necessary, which is another thing. I'm trying to buy things less and less to clean up after and just take photos and get listed. So that's 20, 40. We should go for $50 or more and I got two of them. All right, just getting everything a look over. See if there's anything anybody grabbed, maybe before I did. Cause there was like at least a dozen people that walked in. Sometimes I get stuff, move stuff around. For example, like this, this was the, in the other aisle. And I think I might see another paperweight. Do we have a paperweight? Do we have a paperweight? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, we do not. This is weird. I think it belongs on something. It's like a little glittery thing. It's like a big old dilated pupil. <laughs> a cow's eye. Um, we'll leave this here. I was in there earlier. Okay, so the paperweight, let me look over the condition. There's some residue that's going to clean up easily. And that is a beautiful little flower right there. I want to find some amazing glass pieces. And it's going to be taking this, getting up early, getting in through the doors, checking as often as I can. Oh, this is a three piece. So there has to be another one of these. That's what that is. I would definitely keep that down. Let's go look for that other piece. Is that what I think it is? Hiding back here? I don't know if it is what I think it is, but I'm gonna see. No, it is not. And then this, this piece I like, this is a little stoneware. This is nice, $4.99, $2.50. I'm gonna scoop this one on. This is a nice little piece. Nice little piece right there. Put that there. Let's go check if they have that other little cup that goes with it. Had three times, so three pieces. I'm not seeing that. But, and I'm not feeling it. I don't feel like it's uh, calling me out here. So saying I should get it, should I not get it? Am I playing mind games with myself? I don't know. I'm talking to myself. A good little thing to do before you get in line, folks, is well, when you're coming to Savers, bring your own bags. Especially if you don't know what you're looking for, because you might end up with a lot of stuff. Second thing, before you get to the counter, take off the hangers. Time is precious, and this is your time. So that doesn't mean take your time, because you got more stuff to do. So taking off the hangers myself. And uno mas, right here. Good jerseys, good name, Giant. Other ones I don't go for. There, there's a lot of different names out there, but these two go together. This paper wave. All these prices are really good prices, so I'm gonna snag these up. Let's see how much it comes out to when I go pay for it. Let's go get in line. If y'all think I'm a social butterfly, Caesar is definitely a big social butterfly as well. Right over there. I'm getting back into thrifting more often. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to share any tips oh of like gosh. maybe when's the best time to come? When do new well, merch I come know out? They're always off in our store Sundays and Mondays. Sun why Sundays? Sunday, Monday, because they need two days off. So that's the best time to come? Those are the days off. So those are the bad days, not Oh, off. those are the bad days. Nope. Best days I always feel is Saturdays by midday, like 12, because they push it faster because they want to get home instead of Friday. Because that's what I'm going to test that out. I'm going to test that out. Saturdays and I feel Thursdays because they're trying to recoup for Tuesday from this stuff. Yeah. And it takes them a while to replenish. Those are mine. If I always tell people, I'm like, I would come through Saturday afternoon, not in the morning. Yeah. And then I do Thursdays. I'm going to test that out. And I like, really am like, yeah, because by Friday, by Saturday, it's their Friday. So they're yeah. pushing it faster. Because when I have to work in the back, we want to push it faster. We're like, okay, that makes guys, sense. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
Yeah, so we're bagging everything quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna test that out. Definitely. The other days in the other stores, they give them different days off. Yeah, but like here. Said, but we're the smallest one. Okay. See, I thought this was the biggest one. I was, I was gonna meet up with friends, and I went, I went to the wrong one. Mm -hmm. So they're over there now, on the Tropicana. Yep, that's yeah. big. Watch when you walk in. It's big. Like, subscribe. And check out one of my favorite videos of one of my most expensive pieces of glass that I've come across. On top of that, I've been working on this channel for over six years. There's a lot to catch up on. There's a lot of new people following me. And it gets to teach you as you catch up to my present day of what I've been learning. I have a lot of hiccups. I have a lot of mistakes. But in time, I make less and less of them. And thanks to the community and my own efforts, I am growing tremendously in so many different ways other than just finding things. I'm finding who I am and what I want out of reselling that makes me happy. And I hope what I do has you leaving with a smile. I'll see you again soon in the videos. And until then... Make sure to check out my previous videos. I have six years of it and going.